I know I cover up my fault lines with silly putty Like the laugh's gonna make the bad shit turn to nothing But that's rubber, I'm glued All I say stick to you, trying to get close to the truth Man, I ain't 22 no more Gotta shoot for the moon, fuck if I fall on the floor I always get back up, ask for more I'ma keep playing pain strings till they chant an encore Do you, don't let them push your youth through a door that they open Let's just go. Okay, so I've been doing some tutorials. You guys have been learning some stuff, but now the time has come for you to become the best magician of the early 90s. I know that's what you've been wanting. You've been saying to yourself, X, can you teach me a way to become a fancy magician in the early 1700s? Can you show me the cool stuff that these magicians don't know in 1872 and i've got the i've got the pudding i've got the the stuff right here that's going to make that happen it's called hot shot cut and we're going to do it we're going to do it a couple of different ways and i'm going to show you how to do it as well uh, also i'm going to change up the format a little bit so basically i'm, I'm going to do most of the stuff that i do at the end here and then i'm just going to do the tutorial and that's where the video ends from now on uh, let's get some stuff out of the way. Number one, uh, we're still in a fucking pandemic, so please wear a mask. Number two, I have a stream channel, and I stream with a few friends, and we have some fun, and I'd love for you guys to come and hang out and joke around with us. So the link for that will be in the description below. Working on a few different types of videos and skits and stuff like that. So if you have a type of video that you want me to do that's not a tutorial, leave it in the comments below, we'll get that out of the way. I don't know, that seems about it. So if you like what I'm doing, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna be notified of my next video, and let's get right into the tatalalal. Now that you're ready to be the best magician in the year 2000, let's show you this new fandangled move. I'm gonna show you two different ways. Version number one is going to be the simple way, where you cram it in between your index finger and middle finger like this, and then your thumb is just gonna reach over by your middle finger, and you're gonna pull that around, and now you're gonna take your index finger, you're gonna leave it in there, and you're gonna pull that card out with your index finger until it gets about there. Like that. And then you're gonna use your middle, you're gonna change grips and you use your middle finger to kick it out. Now this is gonna be hard to do slow, but you kick it up and out like that. With speed, that'll shoot the card out of the deck. So you cram it in there, thumb goes by the middle finger, pivots that around, it gets to about here. Now you're going to close it up and leave your index finger in there. And that's gonna pull this card out to about this position. Then you're gonna switch grips. Your middle finger is gonna kick that card out and catch it in the other hand or you know, throw it on the table, whatever you wanna do. So that's the simple version, the simple way to be an awesome magician in the year 1996. Bang, oh, that was a dope catch. Let's learn the better way. So this is the way that I actually learned how to do it and I learned it from watching a Daryl VHS tape. That's how long ago it was. So rest in peace, Daryl, he was a beast. So you start by holding it in this higher straddle grip up by the fingertips. Your index finger is gonna go on the long edge opposite the pinky, and it's gonna pull down, and then it's gonna reach around. Now, the fingers have to kind of stretch here, but basically you're putting it in the same position that you did before. And you're gonna twist the middle finger and the index finger until your thumb can grab it and pull it around with the index finger around the, uh, the the middle finger. And now you get to this position. Now this is a little tricky. So I'm gonna do it again. Index finger pulls down and wedges in. Now you see that the bottom part of the packet has to pivot back against the, the pinky. That gets placed between the middle finger and index finger. And you're gonna twist that so that your thumb can grab it against your index finger and pull it around until it clears. And your index finger is gonna be used to push this packet out of the way almost so it can go underneath, like that. Now, your index finger pulls it out and you're in the same position as before. The middle finger kicks out and you can catch the card as it's flying through the air. Index finger pulls down, 
reaches through, pivots it to the thumb, comes around, index finger clears, pulls a card out, switches grips, and kicks it out with the middle finger. Then once you get to here, the index finger kicks, then the middle finger switches, and you're gonna kick it out like that. And this card will go flying out of the deck. So what can you use this for? Well, as a card reveal. So basically you can control a card, just uh, let's say the nine of hearts. So that card gets controlled via your favorite method to the bottom of the deck. And then you're gonna do the cut whichever way you wanna do it. And you know, you can say, you know, card's gonna fly out of the deck, that, and there it is, the selected card. So that's a simple kick out two different ways. If you don't wanna do the cut at all, you can just pull down with your finger and kick a card out this way and then do the same exact thing if you want, but you know, come on, come on. If you're gonna be the best magician in, in, in 1987, then you gotta do it the real way. You know, that's about it. So play around with that. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm